Um, this is my video about how to make things work when you're a plus size girl. And you guys will hear me say that a lot, make it work. Well, now I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Um, I get asked a lot how I shop at straight size stores like Forever 21 and H&M. And yeah, I'm just going to talk about some tricks of the trade and things I've learned along the way. And I know I've said some of this before in my blog posts, but... I just want to have one video with everything so that I can send people here to watch this um, if they ask again in the future because I get new readers um, every so often. So, first of all, like I've explained before, you should always look for specific types of materials and cuts. Um, obviously anything that stretches is always a good thing. Um, jersey knit is my favorite. but. Lots of different materials stretch. Obviously, when you're in store in the store, you can go and actually feel things, stretch them out, eye them. In that way, eventually, you'll be able to just tell by looking at something whether or not it will fit you. And then you can move to online shopping. And just by looking at the pictures online, you can pretty much have a good guess about whether it will stretch to fit you. And that way you can shop at Topshop and Forever21.com or wherever. I know a lot of people think that I can just magically wear straight sizes because I'm on the smaller end of fat. But that's not true. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you are. I really want to get that across. Whether you're a size 16 or 26 or 32 or 36, you should always try things that are not marked your size. And the reason I say that, for instance, um, is because I don't just fit into size 14. So it's not like I'm a size 18 squeezing into something that's two sizes smaller than what I would normally wear. I pick up everything. Everything. Obviously, if they have a 14 or 16, I'm going to pull that one. But if they don't have a 14 or 16, I'm going to go to the biggest size they have, whether it's a 6 or a 10 or an 8. Um, I'm going to pick it up. And as an example, I'm wearing the most fabulous dress right now. I have yet to actually wear it out in public, but it's a black knit dress with zipper details down here. And it has these amazing big pockets. Um, I got it at a thrift store last week. And I want you guys to guess what size it is. So, just in your head, guess a random number that you think I would pull. You're probably wrong. <laughs> because this dress is a size 4. And I saw the dress first. I loved it. I saw the shoulder pads and the zippers and I was like, I need that. I looked at the tag, I saw a four, I stretched it to see like what type of material it was and I put it in my shopping cart and here we are. So my point is that if I as a size 20 can get a size four dress, then you as a size 30 can get a size 16 dress. You just never know how things are going to work out so just please don't be intimidated by what number you see and try things on. Make things work for you. A lot of times um, when I shop at H&M or wherever else I may fit something and it's probably not fitting me the way the designer intended it but that's okay. If it fits in a way that I like it then I will buy it. Um, a lot of times they have a lot of slouchy shirts or oversized things that are in fashion right now which means even though it's marked a size 12, it can fit up to a size 24. Um, and again, it might not be slouchy on you, but it might fit you perfectly in a different way. And please know that I am not saying that you should wear anything that's not um, flattering. And I hate that word. I really do. But I hope you know what I mean. My point is, I'm not condoning to wear things that look too small. I'm condoning wearing things that may not be your size technically but that look like they fit you fine so there's a difference <laughs> um what else i think there's a lot more i wanted to say about this and if so i will just write it in the post and hopefully this helps some of you guys but again look for jersey fabrics feel how things stretch look at the cut on things you can often wear dresses as tops yeah, so if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, 
and I think that is all. Love you guys.